and welcome into the Armada training update. Christy and our Cole Pepper here past the halfway point in the NASL fall season. Let's look back at the loss in Indy 3-0 to zero with some debatable calls. Yeah, I think, uh, and we'll look at those offside calls where they weren't they on Armada kickoff on CW17 on Friday night. But when those calls happened and led to a goal early on, it really changed the tenor of the game. The Armada really had to chase the game the rest of the way. And without their three leading goal scorers, Keita, Pascal Million and Jamal Johnson, they, they really were ill-equipped to be chasing a game. They really had to get out to a lead or play for a draw, and they just weren't able to do that. And I give Indy credit, too. Uh, Dane Richards and, and uh, uh, Steinberger both played extremely well, showing that uh, you know, their guys on loan from the MLS is a reason why they were high picks in the MLS. And after those losses they had, they still came back to win a match 3-0. to zero. But let's look at the fact that Bochi Oyos and Matt Boehner both came back and played in that match. Who's left to come back? Yeah, well, that's a real plus to get those guys back and available, no doubt about it. Uh, well, we know that Jamal Johnson and Keita both have missed time. Uh, Lucas Trejo has missed time. Uh, they're without Sean Nicklaw and Pascal Million right now for international duty. They're not going to come back till they're done there. But if the Armada can start getting some of their bodies back in, get guys healthy, it seems like we've been saying this for a long time, doesn't it? If <laughs> they can get everybody back in, back? right, it could be a real plus. But in the last couple of weeks, Marcos Flores, Matt Boehner, Bochi Oyos have all come back in. That has to help strengthen them. Once those guys are up to full match fitness, I think it can make a big difference. And even if they don't come back in time for the match against New York Cosmos, the Armada have beaten them before and have tied them before, so odds are in their favor? It's remarkable. Uh, the Cosmos have lost only twice all year. Saturday night they lost in Tampa and they lost in Jacksonville. Uh, and then they one of the draws that they had, uh, had was, was against the Armada up in New York in the, at the end of the, of the spring season. So here we are in a position where the Armada have played the best against the best team in the league. And here's another opportunity to do so in a place where New York hasn't lost in more than a calendar year. Well, hopefully the Armada can get that win on the road and kick things off and then they head to Fort Lauderdale on a Wednesday night. Quick turnaround after that, and then the last five of seven will be played at home where the Armada have only lost once this year. Remember to get the latest on the Armada, visit armadafc.com and their YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.